Today we are on the money. This is the CEO Watch. Our guest for today is Mark Slade, the general manager and head of RDM Africa, which is a digital media agency. Um, today we're going to be speaking with Mark about his experience, uh, obviously his background, what he studied, what school he went to, and now today looking at Ranger as a company in Africa and in Nigeria, what are some of the interesting things they're doing. Thank you very much for joining us here today, Mark. Thanks for having us. Can you please tell us a little bit more about your background? I know you've now been in Nigeria for about eight years, but it'd be good to sort of hear you about more about your personal background. Certainly. So um, I came to Nigeria actually having graduated in 2007. I was here for six months on a contract with Made Magazine, which I think was where you and I sort of had initial contact back yes. in the day. Um, fantastic opportunity to run the office there, um, to do everything outside of editorial, so um, right sort of in the trenches, uh, running distribution, sales and marketing and office activities. Um, just before that was my university, I did a four-year placement at Loughborough, okay. um, uh, computer science and business management with a lot of sport being played as well, which is something I'm very keen on. Nice. Lots of football, lots of tennis. Um, I had a year out in my third year in London for Microsoft in their online services department, so had a very good insight into content platforms um, and managing those sort of partnerships. Um, so even as an intern, I was managing um, eBay and um, Hallmark cards, those nice. types of accounts, a good early experience. Um, and then sort of fast forward, I'd say, five years into sort of 2013 when I came back to Nigeria, um, having spent some time back in the UK doing IT consultancy, um, sales management in IT uh, and computer hardware, that sort of thing. And then came back to Lagos to open uh, Lotus at Pattaya, the bar lounge that uh, you've been to once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then in 2014, sorry, 2015, I joined uh, RDM, or rather joined Ringier to establish RDM, which is Ringier Digital Marketing. Okay. Um, so uh, a year on, uh, recent promotion to become GM of uh, Ringier, so overseeing both RDM, Ringier Digital Marketing, and uh, Pulse.ng, the uh, mass content platform. Fantastic, fantastic. Lots of very interesting uh, mutual uh, experiences. Yeah. Um, now, Ringier is a long-standing history. It has a very long-standing history. Indeed. Can you tell us a bit more about Ringier? Absolutely. So it's a, a Swiss-owned uh, business, family-owned business, almost 200 years old. Um, massive in traditional uh, what is now offline uh, media, so newspapers, uh, print, that sort of thing. Um, fast forward sort of t 200 years sort of later, um, big investment, billion dollar investment over two decades um, into the digitization of that media, um, leaning on uh, existing experiences and looking at emerging markets. Okay. So around four years ago, uh, Ringier came to Africa and Asia, um, and uh, four years later are now specifically in Africa in six different countries. Uh, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, Ghana, Senegal, and Ethiopia. Nice, nice. So six markets, specifically in the Africa market. Mm -hmm. Now, I would assume that Nigeria is probably your largest performing market. It is indeed, yeah. Okay. Um, with respect to RDM, it's the hub. So it's the, uh, we refer to it as the headquarters. Um, and specifically out of those six markets, certainly the, uh, the biggest and probably uh, the, the one with the most opportunity, I think. Okay. Now, obviously, you have a variety of platforms that you guys promote. Uh, but can you sort of summarize? What are some of the key services that you guys offer? Certainly. So across the continent, we have... Uh, four main uh, verticals or three verticals in mass content, which is Pulse, for example, um, e-commerce websites uh, and classified uh, websites that we run. Um, and then we have Ringer Digital Marketing as well. So uh, that's the department that we set up last year, um, which basically is there to be a complete digital partner for all companies, shapes and sizes, um, to provide digital and creative uh, services. And so that means if I'm a small business, I'm a big business, no matter what my budget is, you guys have something you can offer them. Absolutely. Okay. Now obviously, with the, it's based off from Smeden. There are roughly about 36 million small businesses in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and that's a large number. Even if you discount that by 50%, that's still a very large number. Yeah. And a lot of small businesses are, are looking for it interesting ways to sort of get the word out about mm -hmm. their product and service offering. Now, if I come to sort of, uh, if I come to meet you, how do I get started? So for us, um, certainly on the RDM side of things, we have very much um, processes in place to establish the foundations of any business. Um, okay. So that can be a new logo, it could be a, a brand framework that is adhered to um, and used throughout all sort of marketing activities. So basically I, putting identity onto a, a business and making sure the brand is as effective and as identifiable as possible. Um, that then leads into things like website design, social media management, mm -hmm. um, things like SEO, the ability of getting your website found on the internet. Okay. Um, and then obviously Impulse, sister company alongside RDM within this office, we have the ability to amplify um, 
one's brand to three million visitors a month. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. So absolutely, um, with Pulse we have um, catalogue takeovers, we have events, we have video, we have uh, photos. I mean, Pulse are known, I think, certainly within Lagos as being everywhere with respect to every event. Yes. Um, we take our drones um, to, to do sort of aerial photography, that sort of thing. Nice. So, um, and obviously from a content perspective, we've got a team of 35 writers downstairs who are working tirelessly every day to produce very good content. Okay, so what's the size of your entire team across Africa as well as in Nigeria? So across Africa, we are about 250. Oh, um, and in Nigeria, to give you a sort of perspective in terms of our operation, we're about 110. Okay, so I would assume that Nigeria has been sort of like the sort of a foundational operational structure they're looking to now expand into other African markets. Absolutely. Yeah, so certainly from, um, I mean, Nigeria, as I mentioned, sort of 3 million unique visitors every month. Um, works very closely with Ghana in terms of also when you look at news and entertainment, um, Nollywood, that type of thing, the music industry that's very popular across Ghana and, and Nigeria specifically, that, yes. that content can be shared. Yes. Um, and obviously, yeah, we have an expansion plan, um, ideally to be sort of more of the number one choice across Africa when Fantastic. it comes to content and Fantastic. Digital. Now let's talk about this for, from a perspective of just um, obviously what you've been able to accomplish and then we'll go to where you, where you see yourself. So what would you see some of, some of the most things that you guys have accomplished that you're most proud of? Um, I think to be able to take what was effectively a very small operation that I ran uh, alone for a few years and, and bring it onto a platform that it could then escalate. Um, so to be able to bring on very big partners, um, well-known banks, um, other international sort of blue chip companies who are coming to us, um, being referred to by Google specifically as a Google partner, that type of thing is incredibly um, pleasing. Um, and on the Pulse side of things, to be able to, in a very short period of time, um, in terms of the ramp up and the progress that's been made over sort of 18 months, two years since in full operation and full swing, to be able to come sort of top five news websites in the country and to see an increased Alexa ranking, um, definitely things that we're very proud of. Nice, nice. And then what do you see Ranger in the next three to five years? Um, I think we'll hopefully be a lot more visible across sort of other countries, perhaps more partnerships, um, more uh, agency type um, uh, situation set up so we can have a bit more reach across the continent but also specifically um, growing ourselves even within the country as well because Lagos is very much the hub of the sort of majority of the economy but also it'd be great to sort of stretch pulse out across the country specifically as well so looking at Port Harcourt, Abuja, uh, university campuses, anywhere there's an event that type of thing I mean in the same way when you mentioned the amount of um, SMEs in the country, absolutely. RDM being relevant to every one of those there's, mm. there's a lot we've got to do yet. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay just to summarize we just had a conversation with Mark Slade who is the GM for Ranger Nigeria and also head of RDM Africa. Um, we spoke about their offerings for SMEs and how they can help grow their brands and grow their businesses. Um, it's very important to sort of like think about how you develop your brand from just as simple as your logo to the marketing messages that you create. Just want to say thank you very much Mark Slade. Until next time, stay on the money.